You know, one time I went out on a date with a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Yeah, can you picture it? She was a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader and you could imagine my level of excitement. But unfortunately, that was it. She never went out with me again. It was one and done, just like one of Calipari's players. And that was very upsetting. Just like last night, but it wasn't the end of things. I went on more dates after that. Maybe not as exciting as a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader, but life goes on, as they say. And I'm not going to apologize to you because there was this acting teacher who once told me, Andy, you apologize to people way too much. If they have unrealistic expectations of you, that's something that they have to deal with. So why don't you go deal with your unrealistic expectations? Now, I won't apologize for last night, but what I will apologize for is forgetting that there was the early game. I, I knew there was two games today. I forgot it was the fake Finland game. I thought the fake games were before the season. No, they're just sneaking in more fake games. And it's unlikely that by the time you see this video, you're going to be able to put in some of these picks. However, as I told you, you should be following me on social media because once I realized that there was a two o'clock game, I just fired out a couple picks, shared them on Instagram, shared them on Twitter, and going back to what I told you last time, just to clarify, I'm trying to get those 10,000 followers on Instagram so that they can unlock more features. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna be asking you for money. It just means that it allows me to utilize more features that I currently have. Like for example, they say you can do specific live streams just to your followers. All right, well, if I hit that, then maybe right before games, I can get on there and do it something just for you guys. But I need your help. However, I understand not good to ask of favors after a bad night. So maybe I'll wait for a good night. Going to be hard right now since there's only one or two games. But something that you can definitely do if you did it last night, like I told you, if you go to DraftKings, you bet $5 on an NFL money line. They're going to credit you with $200 if that money line happens to hit. You bet $10 last night on those Eagles. You know, they didn't cover that big spread, I don't believe, but they did cover that money line by quite a bit. And if you would have taken that game last night, you would have put five on the Eagles. There'd be 200 in your account waiting for you today. So you can still do that for any other. I think the, the Bills are double digit favorites. So if you want to take advantage of that, check the link uh, that you'll find down in the description. It will also give you the specifics of that deal. And then you can take advantage of that over at DraftKings. But today, I just shared on my social media that this game is in Finland. What am I doing? It's not rocket science. I'm taking all the Finnish players. I'm taking the Lekkonens. I'm taking the Rantanens. I'm taking the Lineys. And it's up to you for what you would have done. Like I, I highlighted the shots on goal, the points. You start getting into goal scores, asking for three goals. I mean, look, that, that actually, they do let you parlay goal scores in most of the sports books I'm aware of. That would be very interesting, parlaying those three, right? Line A and Rantanen, and Lekkonen and all to score a goal in this one because you know they're usually high scoring affairs when they go to another country putting on a game. They want to put on a show, honestly more of a show than a game for the foreign audiences. So you can imagine a couple extra power plays. And I, if, I, if I took a game or if I took a standard bet in this game, it would probably be, you know, Colorado and the over. You feel like when the cup champs are visiting a place what, is the underdog really going to win, especially when that underdog is a brutal team? So I probably would go with the Avalanche and the over on this one. And then looking at tonight's game, you got the Sabres in Carolina. Now, two nights ago, I said it will never happen again. I will never take a team who has to travel. And then they played the night before. They played in an overtime. They played in a shootout. Then they got to move the next day. And that's exactly the situation that we have on our hands tonight. And um, am I going to go back on my word 24 hours later? Absolutely not. I will not do such a thing. But I am still scared. There's a reason Carolina has a minus 200 favorite at home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a way to, you know, kind of not hedge. And I don't know why I'm doing these horizontal slices. But I'm going to take the Buffalo Sabres plus one and a half. It stays true to the philosophy where I'm not going to take the team who is playing back-to-back -back games. So I'm going to take the Sabres because look at these Carolina wins these last couple nights. They were all, are, is that three straight overtime wins for them? Well, if there's a fourth tonight, guess what happens? You win because I'm going to take the Sabres at plus one and a half and also... We're going to be getting the backup goalie treatment tonight. Now, they have a decent backup, but Anderson played last night, which means you're getting the backup. So 
I'm actually going to go with the Buffalo Sabres plus one and a half. Now, if you want to get tricky, there's one of two things you can do. Because these always pay out big when you do this. If you build a one game parlay, like let's say you do think Carolina is going to win tonight. Take Buffalo to score the first goal and then take Carolina to win. They jack up the odds when you do something like that because they factor in, all right, well, if the team scores the first goal, they have a lot high likelihood of winning. So either way, if you like Buffalo to win, maybe Carolina gets the first one, just like Pittsburgh got the first one against Buffalo. And then by the third, you know, uh, Buffalo ended up storming. Back. If you were to do that, by the way, that's a massive payout because Carolina is a heavy favorite. So if you bet on them to score first and they happen to score first, and then they lose that game at home, you're going to see a huge payout. And th those are the bets that I got for you on this Friday. I wish the NHL would give us a few more. I understand that, that they stack them on a few nights, but two, one at night. So what, Friday night, hey, let's, let's go to the bar, check out all the games on the TVs, how many we got tonight. Oh, all one. And I don't want to hear, well, who's watching hockey on a Friday night? Everyone in the northern states in Canada. Like, how about that? How about Canada? How about everyone who's going out in Canada tonight? So they, they, you mean to tell me they just have the Sabres, Hurricanes on all the TVs? Two American teams they don't give two rats asses about? Maybe there's a few Sabres fans by Toronto because it's red, 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 red. All right, everyone. Uh, I, have a good weekend. I'm not doing a Saturday video because they went abysmal. That was life telling me go out, have a good time. That This is me telling you go out, have a good time. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy all the nice fruits of life. And I'll be back with you on Monday. As always, please do us a favor here at Odd Shopper and like this video, comment on this video, tell me how much you hate me. I don't care because I went out with a New York Knicks slash Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Yeah, man, she was on two squads and she just never went out with me again. So anything that you can say, it's going to pale in comparison to that feeling. You know, I'm so arrogant. I thought, well, that went well. I'm clearly getting a second date. Nope. So... I will be back with you on Monday. Remember to follow me on social media. I will see you then.